Hello guys, welcome to our Gemini Code Assist course and in this video we'll talk about versions of Gemini Code Assist. Then we'll talk about ID Assistant which have already installed the Gemini Code Assist extension in VS Code, right? Then we'll talk about CLI Assistant, right? How does uh, uh, Gemini Code Assist as a tool in CLI helps us in writing code using AI, okay? Then we'll talk about an example walkthrough as to when you should use an ID extension or when you should use the CLI. Okay, and then we'll talk about installing the Gemini Code Assist CLI, right? In last video, we talked about installing a Gemini Code Assist extension in VS Code uh, ID. And then here in the last section, we'll discuss about how to install the Gemini as a tool in the CLI. Okay. Now let's talk about the main versions of Gemini Code Assist. There's first is the ID Assistant or basically the Gemini Code Assist extension. It basically works inside your editor for in-file task, right? We saw in the last video how in a file called as uh, validate email, we can write uh, or email validator file. We saw that we try to generate Pythonic code to validate an email for with ending with extension at ctobaya.com, right? CLI assistant, it basically runs in the terminal for automation and project wide jobs, right? When you talk about, you can think about your project task in two ways. One is microwave and one is the macroway. Microwave is basically going in a file, editing some changes, generating some code, uh, generating documentation for a function in the, that file. This is what we call as micro task. This is basically can be achieved by ID assistant. But when you talk about that spans across multiple files, or setting up the project or basically writing the documentation, analyzing the entire architecture of the project. This is something that we can do using CLI Assistant, right? That's why one of the features that you can think about that uh, spans multiple files is basically add authentication with JWT. If there's something like this is you're trying to do, then use the CLI Assistant, okay? Choosing the right one depends on whether you need real-time help, real-time help as in uh, uh, doing things while you are coding in a file or something, or do you need some delegated execution? Delegated execution means basically you can think about it like you can delegate that particular task to someone as some junior developer in your team. If you think like that, uh, that the task requires some uh, complete uh, ownership by someone, then in that case, you can use CLI assistant, okay? Now let's talk about the ID assistant. Again, let's quickly go back to our uh, IDE. Here in the last video, we installed this extension, which is basically Gemini Code Assist, right? So this is basically what we call as uh, ID assistant or basically your in-editor partner. <coughs> okay, let's talk about some of the important aspects of this ID assistant. One is definitely it lives directly inside your IDE, that is VS Code or something like that. <coughs> It basically helps us in writing code without breaking the focus, okay? So we are writing code, we are like laser focused on one writing one function of one class. In such a thing, your innate partner or ID assistant can help you a lot. It answers, fixes, and code appear right where you are working, okay? It feels like a pair programmer. You can imagine like that you are trying to write some code and there is some senior person sitting next to you and is helping you in different steps that, hey, write this line, write this line, write this line. And you are not context switching a lot, right? You're not thinking about setting up the entire or uh, doing something that spans across multiple files. You are doing something in that particular file only. So it feels like a pair programmer sitting next to you. Okay, now let's talk about some use cases of uh, ID assistant. We already talked about it, but let's go through it again. When we want to writing or refactoring code inside a single file, in that case, think about the ID assistant. Generating test or docs for a specific function in a file, also ID assistant. Fixing syntax issues or small bugs flagged by the ID, in that case also you can use the ID assistant. And this is how it looks. This is basically you are doing some changes in your one file, email validator.py. And if you see some changes you want to do here, then you can use your this thing, what we call as ID assistant, okay. Now let's talk about a CLI assistant and it is it is like an agent. It's an automation agent, okay? Agent, we'll talk about agent in depth, but let's talk about what CLI assistant does. It's basically for bigger automated system level task. What system level task means, what automation, we'll discuss this, okay? Bigger means if it spans across multiple files, refactoring across multiple files, generating the documentation for the entire project. These are kind of bigger task. In this case, you can use the CLI assistant. 
ओके इट्स वर्क वर्क लाइक अ डेलीकेट ठीक है यू गिव द गोल हे क्रिएट द ऑथ फीचर यूजिंग जे डब्ल्यू टी राइट दिस इज लाइक अ गोल एंड दैट सी एल आई असिस्टेंट और दैट ऑटोमेशन एजेंट काइंड ऑफ फिगर्स आउट द स्टेप्स ओके नॉन इज टॉक अबाउट वॉट डस एजेंट हियर इन सी एल आई मीन्स ठीक है इट्स लाइक अ स्मार्ट इंटर्न ओके देर इज अ कंपनी एंड यू हैड एन इंटर्न एंड दैट इंटर्न हु नेवर स्लीप्स ओके आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट जेंजी इंटर्न ओके दे नेवर स्लीप द फाइन बट वी आर टॉकिंग मोर अबाउट समवन समवन लाइक अ ए आई इंटर्न ठीक है ए आई इंटर्न हु नेवर स्लीप्स he when when you give a goal to this agent what it does is these three things it does it observes the task okay it thinks about it and acts and acts in this software development environments that how he can achieve that goal okay and once he kind of acts on it to achieve task to achieve task on your behalf it does this task and again observes and thinks and again act and finally when it the intern that ai intern or that agent feels satisfied it kind of uh, they thinks it in a way that hey i have done the goal that you asked me to and these are the things that i have done do you accept this changes this is how that agent works it's not like a very simple prompt kind of a thing that you give a prompt and just generates the output to it it's like you tell them to do something you give them a goal it observes things acts and repeats until the agent itself is satisfied it and then ask for your feedback that hey whether you are satisfied with or with it or not or you want me to give or if you want to uh, or if you want me to do more changes to this this is what ai agent in software environments mean okay okay so again gemini cli basically it is autonomous in nature right uh, with this example that we just talked about right you give a goal and autonomously do all these things for us then very importantly cli is system aware now what does the system aware means right this basically it is in our terminal so it can run this shell commands read write files use external tools what it means is basically if you have like 5 to 10 files in your project you need a someone or that intern to have the ability to read and write to read those files prepare some context to it and then based on that reasoning you kind of try to write code to these files so it has those system awareness it has that system awareness for your project it is goal oriented which you already talked about so not going to go there now let's think about the use cases that the cli assistant covers for us they are basically automating the scaffolding or code base wide refactoring automating scaffolding scaffolding is basically like uh, you can think about it as like setting up the unit test case infrastructure right or if you are trying to write a feature then obviously you start with some basic files for example if you are writing authentication uh, in a node js kind of a project uh, project then what you will do you will basically write controllers will write routes you will write some basically import some basically imports of this controllers and views in your main file something like that right so it requires the same setup for every feature so this is what we call as scaffolding okay and then gemini cli also has this commands which we talked about uh, above that it is system aware and it can also help us in summarizing or analyzing the file directories right so for example if we have a project if we have every project has their own file structure it can help us in analyzing those file structure to give us some uh, intuition or to give, give us these ideas around like how the files for this project are being structured okay now let's quickly walk through an example that how this id or cli together kind of helps us in writing code better are they competitors or are they like uh, helping each other for me the views are that this id and cli are kind of help each other okay so for example let's say i want to write a new feature module if i want to write a new feature module like we already discussed this is something that cli can help us in yes so in this case yes cli will help us in what it will do it can scaffold multiple files like controllers services and routes and in just one command it will be able to generate those files for us and also depending upon whether you want them to write the code as well it will do in the next step or basically it can do in the same step as well Okay, now if we talk about like one file, let's say one controller, and we want to do the business logic inside that one controller, in that case, we will be using the ID assistant or basically the Gemini Code Assist extension. This is a good time to use this extension, right? So we will switch to ID for writing function details, refine the code, and add inline tests for this that one particular file only. 
documentation in config so again you will switch back to cli to you know write the documentation for the entire feature that you have built using cli and also the configs the environment variables and all those things where it should go uh, writing the readme files for that feature all these things should be done by cli cli to automatically generate api docs readme and environment configs as well okay so now that we have done this, let we have talked about CLI a lot, but we have not installed CLI so far. So let's go and what we'll do, we'll install the Gemini code as a CLI on our system. Okay, for that one must requirement is that Node.js version should be about 20 and above. Okay, and then you can run this command to install the Gemini CLI globally on your system, right? You, should, you know what NPM means, right? So let me go over here to terminal and what I'll do, I'll run this command NPM install minus g at google and gemini cli this is what you have to run in order to install the gemini globally on your system and then what you're gonna do you can just run this command gemini in the terminal to verify that gemini is installed correctly and then you can do those all those things that we talked about that what cli can do for you i'll uh, the, the thing is that it is already installed so what I can do is I can just write Gemini here okay and when I press enter what you see is this kind of a thing right tips for getting started you can do these things you can create Gemini.md files to customize your interaction with Gemini and all those things and uh, we'll talk about how to authenticate for this project from the next video but I just wanted to give you like what it looks like right we need to provide uh, either signing with Google so that you can make request or authenticate this request on your behalf or you can provide a Gemini API key as well. This is the, this is the thing we will use in the next video where I'll show you how to uh, integrate the Gemini API key in your system and from the next video onwards we'll uh, try to build something using this uh, CLI assistant and ID assistant as well. Okay guys, so that is it for this video and for uh, your reference, you can go to this link, this particular link and you can read about more on what Gemini CLI is. This is very heavily starred project. So let me go here and see. This is like 76, 75,000 stars this project has and uh, you can learn more about Gemini CLI from a dev point of view here. I'm not going to do that. Now we are going to think about more from an application point of view, how CLI assistant helps us in building projects. Okay, so that is it for this video guys and I'll see you in the next one where we'll do more setup around the CLI. See you, bye.